Certainly, Bluey is one of the best cartoons of recent times, filled with valuable lessons and deep stories, as well as a lot of playfulness and fun in its episodes. But did you notice that in the last episodes of the last season, it was possible to see that two characters from the series are about to get married? And no, we're not talking about Uncle Radley and Frisky. Or did you notice a reference to one of Marvel's greatest Avengers? We've gathered 11 incredible details and Easter eggs that we found in the final stretch of the last season of Bluey, and we're going to reveal everything now for those who stay until the end of the video. Cathedral. In the episode Cubby, we see the girls playing house and creating more and more spaces for their little doll, Kim Jim, to have an increasingly spacious home. And we can see that while they're building dollhouse architecture, Bandit and Chili are watching a cricket match on the living room TV. And at one point, we can see a cathedral passing by on the screen. The detail is that the temple actually exists and is called St. Peter's Cathedral, located in Adelaide, Australia, very close to the Adelaide Oval Stadium where major cricket matches actually take place. Australian Cricket Team Another detail that will certainly go unnoticed in this same episode, especially if you're not Australian, is that the show actually depicted the cricket playing dogs wearing the uniform of the Australian cricket team. This is definitely an Easter egg that people outside the land of kangaroos would hardly know. Dragon Undoubtedly, one of the best episodes of the last batch of episodes in the third season of Bluey is Dragon. The episode mostly features animation that is quite different from what is typically used in the series and focuses a lot on the story of Chili, the girl's mother. In the episode, we found out that Bluey and Bingo's grandmother is no longer alive, but we also discovered that when Chili was a child, her mother was the main reason for encouraging her to keep drawing. Furthermore, the episode doesn't explicitly state how, but it implies that Chili's fondness for horses is also linked to the positive influence of her mother in her life. This is something she still enjoys doing to this day, as she has a framed photo of herself with a horse, which means it's a great memory for her. This also explains why in the episode of The Baby Race, where we see the process of when Bluey started walking, Chili didn't seek advice from her mother, but rather from Bandit's mother, which didn't work out well. This makes it even clearer that Chili's mother probably passed away when she and Aunt Brandy were very young, and Chili was not yet married to Bandit. The episode's title may also hint at the cause of Chili's mother's death. In 2016, a game called That Dragon Cancer was released and won an award for Games for Impact, telling the story of the game's creator who lost his four-year-old son to cancer. So the term dragon in this Bluey episode could be associated with the idea of the game and easily indicate that the girl's grandmother probably died from this terrible disease represented by the dragon. This also explains why the entire episode unfolds as if it were really a game. Indeed, Bluey's show is not just for children, as we can see in these amazing Easter eggs and details from the dragon episode. And since we know you enjoy Bluey content just like us, do the following. Subscribe to the channel here so you won't miss our upcoming videos about Bluey and other amazing cartoons and movies. she -Ra. In addition to the Dungeons & Dragons cartoon, in the same episode we can see another reference to another very famous cartoon that also had a version in the 1980s and a more recent one on Netflix, she -Ra. This happens when Chili embodies the character on her horse and raises her sword, just like the Princess of Power does in her old series. And this isn't much of a surprise, as we can see that Chili is a big fan of the princess in the fairy tale episode, when we see her dressed exactly as she ra when she met Bandit. This connection between Bluey episodes is really cool. How come you're such a good drawer? Oh, well, I'm not that good. <laughs> yes, you are. Swift Wind. Another cool detail in this episode is that even the warrior princess's horse was referenced. This is because Chili's horse in the episode that takes flight at the end and leaves is very similar in its characteristics to the winged horse known as Swift Wind from the She-Ra episodes. Rusty's Father If you've watched our Bluey videos, and we have a playlist just for them here on the channel, you may have seen that originally Joe Brum, the creator of the series, intended the main character of his show to be Rusty, who is a red kelpie. Exactly the same breed as one of the pets Joe had in his childhood. In fact, this is why Rusty and Bluey's designs are so similar. But the fact is, today Rusty is one of Bluey's friends, and in the Cricket episode, which is also part of the third part of the third season of the show, we see Rusty's father writing a letter to his family. Rusty has an older brother and a younger sister, in addition to his mother, and when we see Rusty's father, it's clear that he is in another country serving in the Australian army. In the letter, he talks about the weather where he is, which he calls scorching, meaning extremely hot. 
Based on this information, and since we don't know what year the story is set in, we can conclude that Rusty's father is most likely serving in a country in the Middle East. This is because Australia sent soldiers to two conflicts in two countries in the region in recent years, Iraq and Afghanistan. Furthermore, behind him, we see a helicopter that closely resembles a Black Hawk, one of the most famous equipment of the United States Army which led the two campaigns in these two countries, confirming the Easter egg that he is indeed serving in one of these two countries. See? Bluey is also educational. Captain America. Well, we found a really cool reference in the Cubby episode to the first Avenger, believe it or not. When Bandit is wandering through the toy cubby complex that his daughters built, he ends up in the bathroom of Kim Jim. Seriously, I've never seen anyone pretend to use the bathroom while playing house. <laughs> a solid 10 for creativity to Bluey and Bingo. You can see that in the teddy bear's toilet, there's toilet paper and a toilet. And if you look closely, you'll notice that the toilet seat lid looks very similar to the vibranium shield of the Avengers leader. When I noticed that, I thought it was simply sensational. What a great Easter egg. And if you also like Bluey in this episode that made me reminisce about my childhood, comment down below, hashtag Kim Jim, in honor of the owner of the Sheet Maid Mansion by Bluey and Bingo. In fact, our next Easter egg is all about Kim Jim. Kim Jim is a really cool name. But where did the name of this stuffed toy come from after all? We found out, and we'll tell you because it's because of him that everything happened in the episode. So, the name of the stuffed puppy was created by the episode's writer, Joe Brum, in tribute to the name his daughter gave to a stuffed animal at home, which was exactly Kim Jim. So, he thought it would be a great name to use in the story of the new Bluey episode he was writing. I love it when art imitates life. And you? Dungeons and Dragons. You may have never heard of it, but in the 1980s, a cartoon based on one of the most successful RPGs in history was released, Dungeons & Dragons. And we can see that many details in the Dragon episode are completely inspired by this cartoon and the game itself. For example, we can say that Chili is an archer, just like Hank, the leader of the youth group in the cartoon. This makes total sense, since she is the main character in this emotional episode. Furthermore, we see that Bandit takes on the role of the Barbarian, and Bluey is the rogue of the story. And indeed, the show's creator mentioned being a big fan of both the cartoon and the RPG game. That's really cool. Lovers? In the TV Shop episode, we find some very, very interesting details. Follow along with our reasoning. Remember Winton, that bulldog buddy of Bluey's? In the helicopter episode, he mentions that his parents don't live together, meaning they're divorced. And the episode is largely set within the screens of the cameras that entertain the girls so much. And at one point, we can see that Winton's dad Cornelius uses mouth spray to freshen his breath when he realizes he's close to the mother of the terrier triplets who is trying to choose a lipstick that suits her. So, it's clear that something is going on between them, but I don't think the kids have any idea. At least, not for now. Main Characters of course, the main characters of the series are always the healers. In the TV Shop episode, we can see from what we just mentioned in the previous topic that there's a story within the Bluey story. Got it? In this case, it's a likely love story between Cornelius and the mother of the Terrier triplets. And this becomes even clearer when we see that the items that always appear at the beginning of each episode above the title are exactly two lipsticks and a mouth spray, which are exactly the items that both Cornelius and the Terrier mother use. This is a detail that few people noticed, and it's right at the beginning of the show. I love these references in Bluey. And you? Those were the 11 fantastic Easter eggs and details we've uncovered for you from the last part of Bluey's third season. And let me tell you, I was surprised by how incredible these few episodes of the show are. And since we know you also enjoy surprises, we've picked out these two videos that are surprisingly great. Just pick one and click on it. Thanks, and until next time.